Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of All the Mods 8. I'm your host, Renovate, and guys, check this out. 2,000. <laughs> guys, we actually hit 2,003 subs since yesterday. Uh, we were at 199, so we got four subs, which doesn't seem like a lot, but you, I've been getting like four subs a day. And um, ever since we started this series, I think I've gotten close to 300 subs just in the 40 episodes that we've had in all the mods eight. So I really appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. Um, I really like when you guys comment and I can uh, communicate with you guys and get some ideas because you guys always give things that I don't really think about. So I really appreciate you guys getting me to 2000 and hopefully by uh the end of the year we can maybe get to like 2500 or even 3000 i don't know we don't know all right so let's get to the point we have the star that's got five points but i wanted to show you we do have some star blocks that we can put in here we actually got two more star blocks so they're coming in about I don't know, like one and a half to a day, I think is about what the pace is. So we're going to put these in. Oh, let me put my put hover mode on. Put that there and there. And we just need one there, 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 and those. And then it's just all about this center part, which we're working slowly on. <laughs> like super slowly. Um, so yeah, let's turn down our jetpack speed because that's insane. All right, where are we at on power? Holy crap, we are finished with our power. All right, well, that's that's great. Let's, um, let's, uh, I bet, you know what? I bet this thing over here is completely, uh, completely drained. That was my phone, by the way. Let's go ahead and disconnect this. All right, so we don't need that providing power anymore. These are probably, and these are completely filled. What? What? That's insane. Um, uh, let's go outside real quick because I want to see what we're looking at like out on on our reactor let's go downstairs and how are we looking down here we're pumping out we're pumping out stuff all right well actually let's just turn this off for right now let's turn that off we don't need any power in that we have 1.6 trillion power available for reserves and i think that's going to be enough to get us pretty far along the process so this thing is just sitting at 1.6 trillion <laughs> that's amazing uh, I mean, we could keep the... Hold on, guys. All right, after being rudely interrupted by my phone. So, uh, but yeah, we got uh, we got this power going and we got that power. We could probably leave the other power going, but it's not doing anything, really. Like, this over here isn't even doing anything right now. It should be filled. Yeah, we're completely filled on power. So, this thing is... This is just going to be a battery for this for right now, which is great. All right, let's get back to bees. Now, today's episode might be cut up a lot. Um, and when I mean cut up, I mean it's going to be chopped around uh, with edits because we got a lot to get done today. I got uh, 53 minutes accumulated, or is that 53 hours? That is 53 minutes. All right, that's kind of weird. Uh, I thought it actually accumulated while you were off the server. All right, so here's the deal. We need to make, this is probably completely filled. We have 3,000 of those. This is completely filled. These are probably completely filled. Yeah, I need to get more tanks. We need to get to um, a certain B, and we're going to go ahead and use bees to do this, the radioactive bees. And let's, oh, I don't know why I came down here. You know what? I don't even need to, I really don't even need to do this anymore. I can just go up here and go to craftables, and we'll craft another ultimate fluid tank and click start. And then we should have, at mechanism, we should have a tank being made here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and, and, and do the do the B route with the um, radioactive waste cones in order to make the nuclear waste. I think that's going to be fine. We still need to make the reactor. The reactor is going to be something that we turn on for like, I don't know, let's say five minutes or so. Just enough to start filling up a nuclear waste barrel, okay? And then we're just going to basically break the barrel. And then that radioactive um, air or that radiation, I should say, that's what it's called. Uh, the radiation will actually turn the bees into the bees that we need. And then we'll capture those bees and we'll put those bees in their own nest. And those bees will then be able to make us the cones we need. And those cones actually produce quite a bit of um, nuclear waste. So if we go in and we look at uh, productive bees and we look at, uh, like, let's just, let's just do it this way. Let's do a uh, waste, I think is what we're looking for. Yeah, we're looking for this bee right here, this wasted radio radioactive bee. We did this last episode, we explained it. But we need these cones right here, right? These cones produce, um, one cone produces 
a thousand millibuckets of nuclear waste, all right? That nuclear waste then gets put into one of these, the solar neutron activator, in that you can see here, just 10 millibuckets, just 10 millibuckets makes us one millibucket of pl polonium, polonium. And if we take that and add fluoride dust and water, basically, I think this is what we need, right? Uh, blood, tallow, seed oil, it should be water too, water, there we go. It makes us just, just a thousand buckets really, makes us polonium pellets. We need these polonium pellets and then this you get spit nuclear waste. I don't know if we need to do anything with that, but we also need it to make this. That polonium, that 1000 buckets is going to give us our antimatter. That's what we're going after. We need we need a lot of this. Not a lot, but we need some. But you can see here, it takes 200 million RF just to make one, right? So that's the route that we're going to do. So we're going to make a couple things. Today, we're just going to get the B. That's all we're going to focus on today is the B. So I need to get, uh, let's go ahead and get that thing back out mechanism in our tank. Let's see where our tank is. Is it? Yep, that's it. Right. So we'll put this in here and maybe set this. Um, let's just set it on that side for right now and let it fill up. Yeah, that's good. Did it drain all these? Yeah, it drained all of them. Okay, cool. So the first thing we need to do is how do we get the regular radioactive B? All right. So let's go in here and look at radioactive. We need this regular B right here. This is the only thing we need. To do this, we're gonna to need to make a breeding chamber, okay? So let's go ahead and get that made. So we're gonna to need to make that. So let's actually, let's go back to that. I didn't mean to click off of that. Let's go to this, let's click A, save that as a recipe, all right? And let's go into here and we're gonna go over to this and then we're gonna to try to make this thing. So we don't have any of those flowers. We need to make one of these. We have the stuff to make that. All right, so let's got that. And then we just need a rose bush. So we're gonna need some shears. Uh, we don't have any shears, so let's make us some shears real quick. And then we're gonna need a rose bush, okay? Um, I think I can take, let's see if this will work. Let's take some of this with us. Take 64 of that, and I need to find some roses. I don't think the red ones over here are roses. I think these are just tulips, right? Those are poppies, okay. So we need to find roses. Let me think where we had roses at. We have a flowery biome that is just like in this area right here, I believe. Um, I think that'd probably be a best place to look. So let me go real fast and see. There might be some right here. I'm looking for the yellow and the red together, but let me go see if I can find some. I know there are some in the forests. It's just hard to find. So I will be right back and we'll have those unless I got some in here, which I don't think I do. No, I don't. All right, so give me a couple seconds. All right, I found some rose bushes. Check this out though. I found a bee called a Professor Patris bee. So I wanna look that up and see what on earth this is. So Professor, Professor, is that it right there? No, so it's a purple bee though. It says adult mod Minecraft productive bees. Uh, Here I'll show, well actually we'll take it back. We'll see what it looks like. So I need to get uh, this, right? And did that, yeah, that did that. So that's cool. Can I bone meal these to get like more? No, I can't. All right, so yeah, I can't bone meal. I actually can. Is it giving us, oh it is, okay, cool. So that's giving us the roses all right cool so we got rose bushes what do we need that for i don't remember oh we needed that for the uh for the things all right so uh i can actually make this because remember we got an infinite range card now so we can go like this and we can make this thing here breeding chamber all right and then we'll use our device here to go back home so let's run program and go back home walk through the door all right so let's put this uh, we don't have any power out here, do we? Yeah, we have power right there. So let's put this right here on this wall. Uh, we'll put this breeding chamber right here. All right, so we need, all right, so this has like augments that you can put in it that probably make it speed up, I would imagine. Uh, let's go into um, at productive bees. Let's just do that, productive bees. And I wanna see what the upgrades are for these. So we have uh, upgrade productivity, increases the production output of bees in this hive by 40%. That doesn't go in there. Um, speed gives a 20% decrease in time spent in the hive. That's not what we're looking for. I don't think, um, when installed in a catcher, uh, only babies, uh, this does not work in the bees, self-bred, uh, multiple upgrades. That's not, or wait a second. This, when installed in a hive, I don't want the hive, um, upgrade, not babby. When installed in a catcher, change the productive output to blocks. Nope. Uh, prevents bees living. Nope. That's not what I'm looking for. Gives the machine more breathing space. Nope. That's not what I'm looking for. Right click on a bee. 
So mm, bees will no longer, it looks like the, none of these, I mean, this isn't considered a hive, is it? It's just considered a chamber. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So we need to get the two bees that go in there, but first I want to release this bee. You guys can see what it is there. <laughs> Professor Patris B. And it's an epic apothea. It just went in there. All right. So whatever. Uh, so we need to look at this, uh, look at this B real quick. So let's go back to at uh, radioactive. Radioactive. Okay. Uh, radio. There we go. We need to get this B here, which is an iron B and a Cree B. The Cree B is made by giving a regular B some TNT and it'll turn into a Cree B. All right. And then we got to capture it. Uh, but what I want to do first, I think what I want to do first is I think that if we, uh, let's go in here. Let's go. Oh, I have all this stuff is in the wrong, wrong spot. Uh, let's put this back, put this back. There we go. And put that here. I really don't need my sword or anything right now. Uh, we can use the sturdy B cage, I guess, but I'd like to get a bunch of sturdy B cages. And the best way to do that is to go get a, a villager. And I think I want to grab, uh, let's grab our industrial foregoing stuff and, uh, let's grab these. Let's grab like two of these and let's go uh, over to the village that has the clerics in it. Cause I think that'd probably be the best one to go to. So it's called cleric, um, ancient city, other next the clerics. There we go. Let's go there. Uh Oh, there we go. And I just need to find a villager. It doesn't have a job. That's a shepherd. And let's go over here. That's a farmer. Anybody home? Nope. All right. So I hear, I hear villagers. Uh, do you have a job? You do not have a job. All right. Let's grab you. All right. And then do you have a job? What are you? You're a nitwit. We do not want you. Is any of them back here in the caves? Um, that is a bee. That's a, that's not a bee though. Let's go back out here. I got to find another villager. We're going to turn these villagers into bee, bee villagers. Hopefully uh, you're a nitwit. So can we find like one more? Where are all the villagers at? They should be like out walking around. Yeah, I don't see any villagers. <laughs> all right. Uh, if that's the case, then let's uh, let's try another village. So let's go down here. Um, actually, you know what? We could probably just use this one villager. Yeah, we'll just use this. We'll see how how well this just this one does. Uh, let's say run program home teleport. Wee. All right. So cool. Let's put this villager in here. Uh, we're going to put him in a special location. So we'll put him back here in the corner. I think we'll just set him like right here and then let's put, um, let's get some fences, fences. That should be enough fences for today. And then we'll put him like, um, I guess we could just put him like in the wall. Let's dig this out like that. That should be good. And we'll just put a fence right here and, um, actually we could probably, uh, let's dig this out here. That's a little bit too much, but we'll put this back. I just want enough to put the bee cage in there. So actually we can make this too wide. That's fine. We'll make this too wide. So we have some breathing room. All right. So let's put him in here. All right. And then we need to get, um, I believe, um, it is a, probably a beehive I'm guessing. So let's try the, the standard beehive that we have just this one here, or is it the advanced oak beehive? Let's just try the beehive. Let's just see if this works. All right, let's put the beehive in here and let's see if that changes his profession. If it doesn't, then we'll put the both of them in there because I don't know which one it would actually be. Uh, there's the advanced one. We'll put the advanced one in here too. And then we'll wait and see if his, if he claims that job. I don't know if he will or not, but we'll wait and see. Um, if he does, that's great. If not, then we're going to go and find one, to be honest with you. Oh, there he goes. Sweet. He's a beekeeper. All right, cool. So now we can actually go in and make these. Oh man. What were they called? Um, villager. It's these things here. This barter with villager restock trades reading will dispel villagers. Nope. I need, so this is from villager tools. So let's go back at village and then we need this thing right here. Yep. That's what we need right there. So let's make this this will advance most trading professions so let's try that and give that to him so that that went up that much all right can we make some more because that wasn't enough um at villager village there we go so we need to make some more of these which are just these whoops no wait 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 wait, wait. that's the recipe that's what i want 
Oh, you gotta put these on a on a stone cutter. Oh, okay. Uh, oof. do we still have our stone cutter over here? Yes, we do. Sweet. All right, let's grab. Let's grab. We just need one because it takes it makes ten of them. So if we put this in here, yep, makes ten of these. Cool. And then we'll go back and we'll create that that another book. So let's do villagers and we'll make another book. And we should be good. Let's put a bunch of this stuff away. I don't need any of this stuff uh, with us right now. Any of that, any of that, that. I don't need a wrench. We're not going to need very much today at all, to be honest with you. Um, we're not going to need these things anymore or that. So that should be good. All right, let's go over here and let's put that book and see if we can get him advanced again. All right, so that took him to journeyman. So this gives us... This is what I'm looking for is the advanced oak hives and the oak boxes. And we can also get shirker bag honeycomb. Interesting. All right, can we make some more of those? Aww. So let's go to app villager and let's just click this and always have this on us so we don't have to keep Aww. doing this. All right, and let's do this. So there we go, sturdy bee cages. That's what I'm looking for there. 12 emeralds and some of these. All right, so let's get uh, let's get a bunch of emeralds and um, there we go, just get a stack of emeralds. We'll put these away. And then we need some, I believe we're gonna need that. And then we need to make some more um, uh, B things, the sturdy cages, these B cages. Let's put that as a recipe. All right, and then let's get rid of that glass bottle. Let's make some more. All right, there's eight. All right, and then he wants that trade to be uh, 12 emeralds. Actually, let's go like this. We want, we want this one, my man. So let's get that one, that one, that one, that one. So that gives us sturdy B cages. These can be reused, by the way. So that's all we really wanted. Put a B cage containing a B you want dispelled displayed under jar that's fine all right so what we need now is we need to take um a regular b and give it some dynamite right so let's go ahead and do that so let's make some dynamite or some tnt let's take tnt we'll make a couple of them just in case they don't work and then we just need to catch that b once we feed it right so if i give you all right so he turned into one right away so we're going to put him in the breeder right so we have the cray bee put him there and then the other bee that we're going to need to make the radioactive bee, uh, radioactive bee, that's what we think. So we got this one. So we just need to make the iron bee. And the iron bee is a crystalline bee and an ashy mining bee. All right. So the crystalline bee, I believe, comes from the nether. Do we have an ashy bee in here? Mason green, neon blue, bumblebee, and a yellow carpenter bee. Okay. I think you get the ashy from... I think you get this ashy one from um, sand. The bee is a solitary bee and can be found living alone in nests around the overworld. Look up recipe. That's what I was doing uh, right here. So gravel. So we could do a gravel nest and try to get one. Uh, does it say like what our best chances are for this? It doesn't really say. So sand is an ashy bee. Uh, the bee is solitary. It can be found anywhere. Okay. So let's try. Um, let's try a gravel gravel one real quick uh let's make a gravel nest nest and then let's make this gravel nest uh we have a sword because we made one yesterday i mean we have hundreds of swords <laughs> uh, let's do this oh it does it has to be a particular type of sword though doesn't it all right so let's do was it a wooden sword uh just a regular wooden sword yeah let's do that all right and then let's do um gra uh, gravel nest all right nest and then we need the gravel one like that, and then like that. All right, so there's our gravel nest. Uh, let's actually put this one right here, okay? And then we need to make some treats again. This is this is the pain in the butt part. Uh, let's get our honey bottles out. Honey, we have tons of honey bottles, which is cool. And we have these honeycombs. So we need to make these treats. So let's go to treat, All right? Treat, and we'll go like this. And then let's go ahead and, uh, I wish I could, we should go ahead and make this as a crafting recipe. I tell you what, we'll do that. Let's go ahead and do this. We can just click on it and make it, All right? So we just need to make a uh, treat and then this. And then that, and then we'll put this in here, uh, right there. And then we can say, make us some honey bottles or some treats. Uh, we have enough for two, yep. All right, so made us 20 of these, so we should have 20 treats in here, and we do. All right, that's so much quicker. All right, put those bottles away. All right, let's go over here. We'll use our time in a bottle, too, and hopefully we'll get the ashy bee, like, right away. All right, so we'll go like this. All right, and then we'll use our time in a bottle, which will help us out as well. All right, we shouldn't get any vi any uh, mobs 
even close to our base because I have that torch down. So this is interesting that we have a mob underground here. So we're going to go down here and see where he's at. It says he's right underneath us. Yep, there he is. We shouldn't have this guy. Any mobs down here. We'll have to put up another torch. That's fine. All right, let's go in here and grab this. Oh, there he is. Is that, what is it? Ashy mining bee. There we go. So we have an ashy mining bee. And then we have to make, let's go to the radioactive bee. Radioactive. All right, radioactive bee. So we need an iron bee as a crystalline bee and a radioactive bee in a, another breeding chamber. All right, so let's go ahead and make us another breeding chamber. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's take this one out. We'll put the ashy mining bee in there. We'll keep this one. And then we need to get a crystalline bee, which would be, uh, let's go to nest. Let's see if we can actually make this nest, if I could spell it correctly. Um, we actually need to make, ooh, probably the quartz nest. Uh, we need a quartz, quartz and nether rack. Oh, um, hmm, quartz nest. So we need quartz and nether rack. So we need to silk touch this with a sword. All right, let's go ahead and make us a sword. Actually, we gotta go like this to make us an iron sword real quick we'll make one of these we'll take this with us all right and then we'll take um we'll take silky with us there's that and we should be good we should be good let's go to our mining uh dimension and see if we can find one real quick all right we found some right here so i'm gonna silk touch this so we can get this out all right did we get it all right so we just need to take this and that and that makes us that all right cool so now we can go to the nether so let's go ahead and just jump right in here real quick oh go like this there we go and let's go ahead and click on this all right and then we'll go run program home teleport uh, where's it at here it is we almost missed it <laughs> we almost missed it all right oh you know what we don't have our we don't have our tell well we can go we can go this way that's fine we'll go this way uh we need um the uranium dimension all right so it took us here perfect all right so we just need to put this down and catch a bee but this is kind of confined in here so let's go outside a little bit let's go to a cave where it's like nice and open and we're not going to get injured um like this one that's not really nice and open is it uh we can make a nice little square let's make a nice little like hole in the ground actually you know what we could probably let's go in here a terrible fortress. What the heck? All right. Oh, this is a good spot right here. It's a good spot. So let's put it right here. And then we'll put this behind us. So they can't get out and we can't get injured. All right. And then we will feed it that. And then we'll speed it up. And then we got our sturdy bee cages. Yep. We got sturdy bee cages. So we just need to get a crystalline bee out of this. So hopefully one pops out and it's not a baby. If it is a baby, we can... We have a way of making it not a baby. So we'll see what comes out first, though. All right, there we go. Crystal line B. We have it. All right, so let's go back home. All right, so let's take this crystal line B and oh my god, turn that off. And crystal line B and um, the is this it? Sturdy B cage. That's the Cree B. So we need the crystal line B. This one here, and that will give us an iron B. Perfect. And then I think it automatically puts them in these for you. I don't know. Yeah, we gotta put. Oh, did. Wait a second. Oh, did it already give it to us? No, it wouldn't have given it to us that fast. Uh, so we need some flowers. So let's go ahead and get our flowers back out. So let's get in here and grab our roses, I guess. I don't really matter. I don't think it matters which flowers we give it. And then we gotta go like this and like that, right? And you can see the time up there. So we're gonna use some more time in a bottle and speed this up. And that should give us an iron bee. It did. Cool. Oh, it's just gonna keep breeding them? Okay. Let's take an iron bee out. Uh, we'll take this and this. All right, so we have the iron bee and the Cree bee. All right, so we got the iron bee and we got the Cree bee. And that's going to give us a uranite bee? Nope, that's not That's not, That's not. not what it's supposed to give us. Iron bee and a Cree bee. Uh, let's look at radioactive again. So did we not do this right? Radioactive. Radioactive. Iron bee plus a Cree bee gives us a radioactive bee. Um, is there certain types of flowers? Accepts any flowers. It says down there at the bottom. Accepts any flowers. Gives us a radioactive bee. All right, we'll try this again. So this is the Cree bee and the iron bee. And it gives us a radioactive bee. Okay, that's cool. That's what we wanted. All right, so let's do that. And then we can speed this up again. All right, that's as far as we can advance it. So that's going to give us a radioactive bee. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try and... 
produce more radioactive bees. And what's going to happen is we're going to take these radioactive bees eventually. We're going to breed a bunch of them. We're going to need like 50 of them, basically. We're going to put those bees in um, its own little cube world. So because it's going to have radiation in it. Did it make one? It's almost ready. Oh, I got to put a cage in there. There it is. Radioactive bee. Can you make us another one, please? Oh, it's all, we've already used all our time in a bottle. Oh, man. All right, that's cool. Can we use these? No. All right, that's fine. <laughs> all right, so that's going to do its thing. Uh, I don't think you can feed it these, can you? I don't think so. So we have uh, we have a bunch of bees, which is cool. So we got the crystalline bee back and the ashy bee. And then we have this radioactive bee. Cool. And then we still have some bee cages that we can use. All right, so now we're going to make radioactive bees which actually produce radio uh they actually produce um uh radiation by themselves so we're gonna make another uh little world okay so let's go in here and go to compact again so at compact um let's see is it compact machines yeah that's what we want so i don't i don't necessarily need a large one but th these these um these uh, machine frames aren't very expensive you can see here so they're not very expensive and then we can actually make this large one we can just make a block of netherite we have tons of netherite and we'll just make that all right and then we i think we can use this on any shrinking device i believe so we're going to set this over here all right let's put this um actually let's set this let's just set it back here in the corner for right now like right here all right and then we're going to need some bee cages so we're gonna need these things here so can you give us advanced oak beehive and an oak extension requires beehive uh requires two emerald for the oak expansion all right we'll take we'll take two of these and then i need uh some of these um advanced oak beehives so we need regular beehives all right so let's go in here and make a regular beehive beehive there we go so beehives are cones and wood basically honeycombs and wood all right so i think i don't know why that just did that i think we have everything to make these so there's two of those all right so i want these all right and then i want um i believe that the radioactive bees radioactive bees i believe that they work off of uranium uranium ore or a block of uranium the block of uranium is what we want so let's go in here actually we don't need to go in there at all uh uranium so can i just make a block of uranium for this that makes a block of uranium all right cool so that's what we needed we need two of these all right that's cool and then is this guy done in here? He is done. Radioactive B. Okay, cool. So we got that and we got that. Uh, they're going to need to breed, right? Um, now, will they... Hmm. Will they make their own... Now that I'm, now I'm confused. Will they make their own bees over time? I think they do. Or do we just need to keep breeding these like over and over and over? I think we just need to keep breeding these. I don't think that they actually produce their own bees. Let me check something real quick. I... I I don't think I looked this up correctly. I think that we, I think that they breed on their own, don't they? They like make their own bees after a while, or do you have to do it yourself? I totally forget. Give me a second. All right, so yeah, we just need to set these in their own little compact worlds. I think that's all we need. So let's go ahead and grab, um, let's go make a radio. We could actually make one more, couldn't we? Let's go ahead and put this in here. We'll get a third radioactive bee. And then we have another one in there. So we need to make these little uh, baby upgrades. Oh, they're called babby upgrades, babby. And I want to see which one it says installed in a hive. It gives a 5% chance for a new baby bee to be spawned from the hive every time honey is delivered uh, when installed in the catcher. So we do need to have these. All right. So let's go ahead and see if we can make a couple of these and that will that way these things will always be um, breeding basically. So let's do babby. There we go. And then let's go ahead and see what it takes to make this. So can we make um let's do that again all right so they don't stack that's kind of stupid all right let's do that to make four of these all right so we need some honeycomb we got honeycomb we got honeycomb so put the honeycomb in here put that in there wait what maybe oh is it a treat oh it's a treat okay well, let's just make the treats then all right there we go get rid of that and then we can make this i thought it was the honeycomb all right there we go all right so we got four of those and now we can make these one two those don't stack either we need more honeycomb blocks <laughs> come on 
Uh, how you make the honeycomb blocks? Uh, just four combs. Okay, we can do that. So let's grab our honeycombs. Uh, combs. And we just need to make some blocks out of those. So we need a couple of these. All right, there we go. So then we need to go back to the bees. Bobby. All right, go like this. And then go like that. And then we have the four of those. All right, cool. So I think that's all that we need. So let's go into our dimension. All right, so let's grab this. I know. Uh, it's going to give it, it's going to take a minute. So it's going to create this little dimension, all right, which is cool. We're going to sit over here in the corner, make this our spawn point, and then I'm going to put these uh, blocks, like one here, and I'm going to put one here. And then we need to put these uh, beehives, I believe, here. Actually, no, we did that wrong. Let's break that and break that. These need to go out in front like that. Yeah, like that. And then we need to put these beehive expansion boxes on the top like so. And then we can go and click on these. Can you not click on these? Uh, I can't click on it. I think the, the, the server shut down. Hmm. Oh, crap. We forgot. <laughs> Guys, we totally forgot something. <laughs> we need the advanced ones. We need the advanced ones, not this one. This is why we made these two, so we could get the advanced ones. Okay, so let's let's get out of here. Oh my god. Uh, there we go. Oh my god, that was... Oh, jeez. All right, that, that server really didn't like that. All right, so we need to go over here and click on... Uh, we need these advanced ones, so we need that. All right, before we do that, we need to get some... Let's get some emeralds real quick so this guy's happy. All right, so hey, buddy, we need to get some advanced ones, these things here. And I need two of these. Thank you. Now we can go back into this thing. All right, click on this. Hopefully it doesn't, like, rock the server. Oh, I clicked on it, <laughs> I clicked on it with my... <laughs> I clicked on it with my thing from refined storage. All right. So we need these uh, advanced ones in here. So let's put this advanced one there, advanced one there. Now we can click on this. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to put all of these in this one for right now. And then we're going to put all these sturdy bee cages. I don't know if you can just, no, you can't just dump them in there. All right. So we just need to go like this. And we're going to let these things go in here. Now this might cause us an issue. I don't think. Oh, it's a little baby one. So there's our radioactive bees. And they're gonna go in, I wanna see which one they're gonna go into. So they'll probably go, you know what we should probably do is just grab these out. Let's get rid of this one. All right, and we'll we'll just put them in this one. I don't, we're not gonna get any bees like right away because there's only one beehive. You can see one bee just went in there, radioactive bee, which is cool. There goes a second one. So they're all in here and they're gonna reproduce. All right, I think we can, I don't know, but I think you can put, um, treats in these i'm not quite sure does this thing work across dimensions no crap it doesn't all right so that's going to produce our bees all right so let's go in here and click this uh, actually i want to go like this and then click uh this and then we want to load this and shift load this so this dimension is loaded all right so there's our radioactive bees now here's the thing that's only step one all right so step two is we're going to have to make a reactor okay we're going to make the reactor in next episode because that's a long process to get the reactor set up with all the mechanism stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it and then I'm actually I'm going to build the process first. I'll show you guys how it works. We'll build the reactor together. We'll have to do it in another one of these. And then um, we I'll show you how these bees react. But I need to get all these bees breeding first. OK, so that's what we're waiting on is these bees to breed. And you can see there that it doesn't really matter breeding items, any flower. Um, I don't think you put stuff in here to help them breed, do you? I don't believe so. This is this is what they eat, so they should be fine. But yeah, these guys will breed, and then when I get a couple more, we'll have two hives. And that should be enough to start breeding a bunch of bees inside here. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today. And like I said, thank you so much for 2,000 subs. Um, I'm looking at the YouTube page right now. We're at 2005. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're still watching my videos and you're not subscribed, just click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. It's free to me. It's free to you. It just helps the channel grow. And that's all that matters to me. And I will see you next time, guys.